Hello guys and welcome back. So in the previous videos we have completed our work for the right hand handgun as you can see for this one. Now as you know that our player will be having two handguns. So now it is time that we make this left hand handgun workable. So for that what we will do is first of all in the scripts folder and then the rifles folder let's create a new script by the name of handgun2 or you can name this whatever you want and then select the second gun and name this as well handgun2 now on this handgun2 what we will do is simply drag and drop this handgun2 script and now let's open this up Let's remove the start and update function from here. And then if we get back to handgun script, then what we will do is to simply copy all of the variables. So control C and right here we will paste it. Okay. And after this, we need the awake and update function. And let me tell you that the code for the handgun 2 will be similar to handgun but we will be making some changes in the handgun script but that is for the future for now just follow me okay after copy and pasting the awake and update function after this let's get back right here and let's copy this shoot function so we can just copy it like this and then paste it right down below the update function okay i'm doing this one by one so that you guys follow me and then we have the reload and the show ammo so copy that as well and right here paste it down that is it so now this is the code for our handgun 2 let's save the script and then in the rifle things Let's create a public transform actually. So we will say public transform, make sure the T is capital, and let's name this as hand. And then in the awake function, what we will do, we will say that transform dot set parent, and we will set this hand as the parent. Of the handgun okay let's do the same for the handgun script as well so get back to handgun at the top let's paste that hand variable and then the awake function code so paste it right here so what this will do is basically it will make this handgun the child of this hand and we will assign this hand in unity so now let's save the script get back to unity if we click on hand handgun okay the first one as you can see it needs this hand so the hand will be this rifle holder so just paste that in there and now let's click on handgun 2 right here it needs the camera now so we will drag and drop the main camera then everything else will be the same then for the hand we will paste the or drag and drop the rifle holder for the left hand okay because this handgun 2 is in the left hand of the player after the rifle holder let's add the muzzle spark and metal effect so for that we can click on that okay here is the muzzle spark now we need to set the muzzle spark for that handgun as well so if we go inside the jmo asset to our effects then effects and then muzzle spark i think it was the fire so here is the muzzle spark let's open up the handgun and inside the hand 04 paste it as you can see it is now in front of the gun then click on prefab and that completely now click on handgun 2 drag and drop the muzzle spark and now it needs the metal 
so in bar effects coincide effects okay underscore effects and then bullet impacts and here is the metal so let's drag and drop that in there after this it moves the ammo out ui so we will drag and drop the ammo out canvas in there and that will be it now we can close all of that and we are ready to test the game so let's click on play and as you can see here is our player holding the guns okay you can see then the gun moves with the rifle holder as you can see okay now if you try to shoot as you can see now both of the guns are shooting and now reloading now after reloading it will shoot again as you can see so okay ammo is out for the one gun that's why that gun will be shooting so it was this handgun let's make make the total number of magazines as 10 okay and this is 10 already so now both of the guns will shoot Okay, there it is let's shoot as you can see now both of the guns are shooting now they are reloading okay now they are shooting again so now as you can see both of the handguns are now shooting and working perfectly fine and let me show you that they can give damage as well okay if you try to hit this as you can see it gives damage as well so with all of this done, let's end this video right here.